my generation uh, met marijuana. You know, when we were children, uh, we used to hear marijuana spoken of as reefers, and uh, only drug addicts took marijuana, so far as we knew. And uh, they were sort of lurid tales in the tabloids. Uh, they would say, victim of reefer madness, and, and so forth. So we grew up thinking that marijuana was uh, evil. And I remember in the uh, late 40s and the 50s, when some of us started smoking it, uh, we felt wonderfully criminal, you know, as if we were truly uh, breaking a frontier. And I remember in those days, uh, the middle class had an intensely antagonistic attitude toward marijuana. I had friends who were young intellectuals who broke company with me because I was smoking it, you know, refused to see me. Uh, they felt about it, I think, the way uh, people felt in London in 1890 about uh, taking opium. And uh, I, in turn, felt outraged that you see that they would uh, let this company uh, enter the friendship. I felt outraged, in fact, if they wouldn't smoke it. I was an advocate for it. Uh, what had happened is that, precisely because there were no other drugs of choice at the time, marijuana was the only drug, uh, that to, I mean, there were other drugs, but they were pills, you know, they didn't count, they were medicines. You, you, you took a speed to speed yourself up, and you took second all to slow yourself down. But marijuana was the nearest, uh, uh, was the only thing remotely resembling a psychedelic drug at the time. And so we'd uh, take it to get psychedelic experiences. I remember when LSD came along years later, I never went near it, because I felt I'd already had my psychedelic experiences, and I didn't want any more. I felt uh, there's just so much to uh, each customer. And uh, uh, I probably had more of a love affair, or as much of a love affair with marijuana as I ever had with any human being, uh, because it was, uh, it was like a romance. <coughs> like a romance, it had its high point in my life. It, it had a period where for a year, I think, I lived for the next opportunity to take some marijuana. You know, I'd work for two or three days, knowing that the other two or three days I could stop and have two or three days with my marijuana. And I had extraordinary experiences on it, and I learned all about the world. Marijuana has this uh, rather lovely quality at its best of removing one's stale habits temporarily, one's stale habits of mind, so one perceives a little better, one hears a little better. Uh, many have commented on this. Uh, the sense of time passing becomes slower. One begins to have the... Uh, if one doesn't have the reflexes of an athlete, one thinks one does, because a, a ball that's thrown at you approaches more slowly. You, you have time to see the seams on it as it comes near you. Uh, 